Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater, and today I'm really excited to have Steve Bragg of Empress Effects here. We are now carrying their line of amazing pedals. Welcome, how'd you find Sweetwater? Yeah, so when I got here the first day, I was taken on a tour, and so first we saw the music store, which was crazy. When you see it online, you don't realize that, you know, it's like room after room after room. You just keep on getting blown away. Uh, and then we saw the recording studios, and then you showed me uh, your area, and every time we went to a new place, it was just like, I can't believe this place has so many different things to look into. And by the end of it, I was only about a quarter way through everything. And now we have your pedals. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about, uh, about yourself. My, uh, my dad was a musician, and so I learned a lot about music from my dad. And uh, when I was in high school and university, my two favorite things to do were electronics and guitar. Okay. And after university, I wanted to start a company, so I started Empress Effects in 2005. I had a friend that wanted me to clone him a, a TR2, a Boss TR2, and I, I made a tremolo. It, it worked out really well, but I wanted to add features, so I kept on adding features like tap tempo, output boost, uh, a switch so you could switch between two speeds, and it kept on going, and he got impatient, so he just ended <laughs> up buying a TR2. But I didn't really care, so I just kept on adding features. Eventually, I had a product that I really liked, um, and then it started selling really well. So uh, I was in my parents' garage building them and at nighttime I would work on new designs. Uh, next came like the, the Empress Superlay. Uh, I hired my friend Jay Fee to help me with the design of that and uh, when that was released it was our best seller for years and then it went from there we had uh, the Empress Pair EQ and then after that we had enough money to move out of my parents place into uh, my own place and it and then we were kicked out of that place three years later we moved into another place and then we were kicked out of that place. <laughs> we just kept on growing and um, needing more space. And this is in Ottawa, Canada. That's right, yes. So my introduction to Empress, uh, as, as some of my audience knows, I have a delay closet that's just filled with delays. I just love playing with delay pedals. I really, really do. For years in the forums, when people kept talking, what's the absolute best delay? You know, that super delay kept coming up and we didn't carry it. And so I did some research and learned about it. And then one day I saw this teaser video for the Zoya that hadn't come out yet, but you were talking about it. I just, I had to be part of this pedal. And that's when I emailed you and offered my help. And uh, that has been a really exciting time. I had been working on these two pedals, the Ecosystem and the Reverb. We had been working on them at Empress for like seven years and I was kind of getting a little tired of the regular pedal format. I had also been working with Pure Dad and Max MSP doing sound design and I was, you know, I was working all day on the computer. I didn't really want to work at night on sound design on a computer. So I thought it would be great to have basically like a Max MSP or a Pure Data system inside a pedal. Mm -hmm. So that's where the impetus for it came. And then we kept on bringing it to NAMM and saying, hey, it's going to be ready in a couple months. It's going to be ready in a couple months. And it, it wasn't ready in a couple months. And then that's when you emailed me and said, you, you probably need some help. I'll help you beta <laughs> test it. And then you started beta testing it. And then you started making patches for us. And you said, you know, you could really use a quick start guide. In the quick start guide at the start of it, you said, you know, if you find the screen too small, what you do is you go to the uh, pharmacy and you just buy like some reading glasses. <laughs> and I was like, okay. It does help. Good. Well, it goes from there to there. Yeah. Um, and it, it is a stunning pedal. And, and uh, you know, I know I'm on camera to help sell stuff, but I am telling you, uh, your pedals sound amazing. The, the phaser, quite possibly the most beautiful phaser I've ever heard. And then all the features you have on your delays and reverb, those are amazing as well. I don't have the compressors, but I hear a lot about those. I know that people really love that one. And then the Zoya came out and I started getting beta copies of that. And it's just like, if, if you're the kind of person that says, oh, I really love this pedal, but I just wish it had this one more thing. You are the person for a Zoya because you just push a button, add it. Every one of these little dots can be another module. And then there can be pages and pages of this. And, and this is one I happen to have made for him. This will let you play guitar and it comes out like the organ part from Won't Get Fooled Again. And so I wanted to make pictures on the screen. So I suggested to Steve, well, I know you can have lights for each of the modules that you plug in, but what if you could just have pixels that would let you put any color anywhere and flash them or change their color just because? And that's when we started coming up with stuff like this. And it, I, I think it's made it a lot of fun. Oh yeah, it's made it a lot better. Yeah, you were one of the great beta testers who were like, right when we're about to be ready to go into production. You're like, you know what, you could use this one <laughs> one more thing. There's you and another guy who we were about to like start selling it. And you're like, you know what, it could really use this pixel. And I was like, oh man, right, right when we're about to go. But it, I'm so glad that we took the extra time to put things like that in. When I worked at Kurzweil, we call that feature creep. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's just, just, yeah it can, just that one more thing. It can go horribly wrong. It but really, I think in really this can. case, it went well. 
And and then now, of course, you've taken because of how many synth people have said, oh, I love this pedal, but it's a guitar pedal. How can I get it into your rack? And now you have that new Euro Bureau. And that is amazing because it's all that plus a bunch of CV ins and outs. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to see what people do with that. And to be clear, you've got this website that has all of these user contributions, and it's really clever how you have it. There's a picture, there's some text about it, then you can download the patch, people rate it whether they love it, you know? And what's your current count of patches on that? Yeah, right now there's around 1,100 patches. Uh, a lot of people now just buy the Zoya. They don't even intend to make their own patches from scratch. They'll just buy the Zoya and download patches that other people have created. Um, and it's nice to, a lot of the patches, the creator, will make a YouTube video. So before you download it, you can get a little mm -hmm. taste of what it's like. Some of the latest ones I did, I did a, a Leslie simulator for this. And because of the pixels, I've got a little horn spinning on the top and the woofer spinning on the bottom. It sounds really good. It not only does the Leslie, but I've got some distortion in there just right. And then the latest one, which I still haven't shown you yet, is I play slap top cajon that has the little microphones in it. And so you have a separate mic for the kick and a separate mic for the snare, but the cajon always has that doom kind of note in it, right? Yeah, the and resonance. So I, yeah, yeah, and so I knocked that out, and all of a sudden it sounds like a kick and it sounds like a snare. And then I sent only the high frequencies of the snare into a reverb. I sent the kick into another parametric EQ to boost it the way I wanted. And now I find myself playing cajon like this because it's so powerful. If, if you're an idea person, you cannot miss on the Zoya. Steve, we're so glad to have the Empress pedals in our lineup. It's a really great match for our customers. Uh, the quality level cannot be beat, and we're just so glad to have you. Yeah, now that I've spent a couple days here, I realize I really wish we were here earlier. Uh, we were approached by Sweetwater maybe three or four years ago when you guys told us the requirements to, to be working with Sweetwater. There were some pretty serious requirements, and I realized at the time that there was no way we were gonna meet all of them. So we went back and we worked on our production to make sure it was a lot more solid. And, uh, and now I feel like we're, we're ready to do it. Um, Glad to have you. Yeah. And just so you know, the reason they were calling you is because I was going to them showing them this pedal saying, we have to have this Right, pedal. I was wondering why they're coming by like the booth every couple. <laughs> right, and it was because, it's because I want to make videos on this thing. And we're going to make one small one today. So cool. if you have any further questions about the Empress effects, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. This is Steve Bragg. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> One more game. <laughs> Just don't say express. That's what that we oh, always get that. Really? Express effects. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, Daniel's been talking about the Zoya for a long time. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs>